Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my first impressions on the Microtech Stitch. Bang! This was uh, loaned in to me by my good buddy Joe. He's my local buddy, and he had just gotten this recently. You can tell he threw his edge on it. Guy's a beast with the KME now. And um, he's like, hey Kev, you want to check it out? I was like, Psh, yeah, I was actually going to have one of these on the way from Brandon Thrasher as a loaner. And I was like, that makes it easy. No shipping involved. Um, so I'm getting to check this out. If you guys saw my video about, uh, I think it was a Friday fuckery video I posted. Um, I kind of had it on me and I just kind of talked about it there as well. Um, I didn't do an unboxing because I got it in person and I didn't really do a first impressions. I guess I kind of did in that video, but I wanted to give it a dedicated video. And, um, I've had a little more of a chance to hang out with it for a couple days and, um, yeah, so let's get into it. So this is a Borka Blades design. You can see, I do also like to give you guys an up close look, you know, um, Borka Blades design right there is the logo. This is serial number 7460. Let's get a real close look actually. All right, here we go. Ouch. Serial number 7468. 8 2021 so this is a new knife basically august 21 you see it says stitch a microtech usa there's your uh, registry or whatever number m390 m tray 90 you can see this ridiculous stone wash looks pretty cool actually on this side of the blade we are uh pristine i like that i wish this side was like that I saw a video the other day, I think it was OCD for EDC, you know, the OCD billies, those hillbillies out there in Iowa, and they were saying that uh, Microtech always gets a pass for the billboarding. I mean, they don't get it from me, because this bothers me to no end. Now, luckily on this knife, it's kind of like blasted over or stonewashed over a little bit, so it's not as shiny as some of the times on their Microtechs, but... I absolutely hate their billboarding. It's one of the reasons I don't like Microtex. Um, you know, you can have the coolest knife in the world and then you basically, you know, chalk it up and make it feel kind of like this Evatac right here, right? Let's zoom out. I mean, the billboarding, like if you put these two knives in front of a newbie, you know, they'd probably be like, yeah, those are made by the same people or those are equal in quality and equal in everything, right? I mean, you have aluminum handles, right? Aluminum handles. Um, this one's assisted. So, you know, that's great. This one's tipped down. But, I mean, honestly, I don't think a newcomer to the knife world would be able to tell the difference between those two knives um, in terms of quality. And and that, what does that say about micro? I don't know. Just stop billboarding. Jesus. We know you made this knife and you're proud of it, okay? Uh, these aluminum scales are excellently done. That is one thing you will notice. They are finished very well. Kind of does have a, a, a sort of Pro-Tech-y finish to it, but a little different. And um, I don't know if I like it better, but I like, I like it equally as good. And then I love this texturing. I mean, look at that. And you can see these giant ass... Uh, Torx bits here. I think those are going to be T10. We could actually check. So I always have a T8 in here, I believe. T8. If you have any questions about my drivers, you can see those. Okay, they're T8s. And the pivot. Uh, let's see. If you have any questions about the bits I use and stuff, I did a video on that recently. T15's moving around pretty good in there, so. Come here, my pretty. Where's my T20? That's T10. That's, that's a small guy. T20. There we go. This is a T20 on the um, pivot. And a T8 on the rest of the hardware. I, I think that's pretty solid. I do think that in the future... Now, this knife has been out for a while. But I do think that in the future, we're going to start seeing more T10 pivots. Um, so 
So you're probably going to be seeing a lot of T10 and then T8 hardware. And honestly, I think that's the way to go. Uh, so I've stocked up on some T8 and T10 bits. Here's your clip. Uh, Microtech clip. Good spring to it. Got a nice little plateau so you don't hurt yourself or get a hot spot. Um, lots of screws in that area, but you know, it's okay. Lanyard, uh, lanyard spot for you foos. And there's your button, which I'll get to. I don't like that button at all. Pivot, and we're back to the blade. So let's zoom back out. That's your up-close look. Um, the button. Okay, let's talk about the button. So as a lefty, it kind of sucks. This is me pushing it the way I want to push it. Jeez. Like, I really have to go for it. If I push it the way I want to, like, this is the angle I want my hand at and everything. You know, like, it, it just takes a little bit to get it. Uh, whereas right-handed, of course, you're locked in. Bang. It's perfect for right-handed deployment. I like the shape of the button. Uh, they didn't have to do all this triangle stuff, but it works. Right? Works great. And then on the close, same thing. Push down and detract or whatever. Lefty, it's just, uh, once you get it, then trying to get it down enough to get it to close as a bitch like it's just not fun um that's the that's my biggest issue with this knife it's really not any fun dead nuts on centering by the way um like yes it bangs out and that is the coolest thing about this knife i think this knife costs 400 and whatever dollars because it does that like honestly because it's made by microtech in the u.s and it sounds like this <laughs> it like Yes, it's fun, guys. It is absolutely fun. No, it's not going to, like, shoot out of your hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I mean, if I gave it to my wife or something, I bet you it would. Um, very thick button there. I mean, look at that. Plunger, whatever you want to call it, is awesome. I don't know what that thing is. Is that a blade stop of some sort? Because it's freaking huge. Uh, well, there you go. There's the other stop pin right here. Like, absolutely monstrosities when it comes to stop pins. Yeah, I think that's stop pin on the close. Um, that's awesome to see, of course. Giant plunger. I mean, I love that, right? Very, very tankish. And I will say, from my initial impressions, I still hate this grip. I hate any knife with this curly, pistol grip type thing. It's just not for me. The Evo is maybe the only one that pulls it off. I think the Evo 2.0 has a little bit of that going on, and it doesn't bother me at all. It's my favorite knife, but it, it bothers me on every other knife. This feels absolutely fantastic. Right into this poon spoon, and I'm good to go. Um, so I will say ergonomics up here have grown on me tremendously. This edge is fantastic. Get something to cut with. Now, obviously, this is not a factory edge. Joe put that on there, but you get the point. I'm sure it was sharp from factory. Um, they did a great job with the grind and everything on here. It's a flat grind. Um, now, one other thing I don't like is the hole. It just bothers me that I can't flick it. Man, I think if this was a manual knife, it would feel fantastic. Just It's in a good spot. Like I pick up the knife, and I want to flick it. Bang, right there. Something I was just complaining about on a Tucson. Um, it just is a good spot for the hole. Uh, I don't like this. I just don't like autos and how they have to do that. And I guess it has something to do with the mechanism, uh, having to flip around and have a spring and everything in there because that ProTech Root 5 I reviewed also had a big neck like this. And I just think it looks ugly, atrocious when it's closed, right? um clip is not reversible because it has the curve and they don't feel like doing anything for lefties plus the button's not really friendly lefty so why even bother right i get it um the pivot sticks out proud of the scales i kind of like that in the design i like how this is all rounded it's very like i don't know it just goes with the design of the scale the contours of the scales i like that Here's the plunge cut out on this side. That's not just, I found that out recently. That's not just for looks. They need to have that slot in there for that plunger to go in. Uh, backspacer, really nice. Got some jimping on there. Uh, again, talking about jimping, this right here, even though I'm never touching it really, because I'm up here 
when I hold this knife. Um, it is good jimping. It's not too smooth and it's not rough. It's very well done. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a big knife. I guess I should compare it to some stuff. Um, here's that Evo again. Four inch blade on the Evo. Pivot to pivot. So it's relatively close. I'd say, what is it? 3.75 maybe on the stitch. Now that's you know, from tip to scale. I don't know about usable blade length. Here is a, a Catla. Have this in for review. Um, I believe that one's what, three and a quarter maybe? Is it three and a half? I don't know. See, I should just take tape measure out like a good boy, but I'm not gonna. Uh, here, I know the Vero is uh, three and a half. So let's look, pivot. Or scale to scale, three and a half. So actually, it's more like three and a half on the uh, stitch there. Sorry, it's a lefty. Um, and then cutting edge is what, maybe three and a quarter, maybe even less. I don't know. Uh, you don't get a ton of cutting length on that, apparently. I must just put it away like an idiot. Um, but yeah, it bangs out. It's got good ergos up here like this. Cuts extremely well. Uh, I get it. I think for people who really like autos i get it now i get why this is so popular but otherwise eh, i don't really get it it's thick it's kind of heavy it's not my favorite looking knife in the world um unless you hold it up there it's kind of weird like this is just a useless grip in my opinion um you know it is comfortable though the scales are done well but there's tons of billboarding i don't know just not my jam exactly, but it is cool. So that's a first impression. See, I just want to go to that hole every time. That's a first impressions and um, close look at the Microtech Stitch. I will be following up with a full review. We'll see how it grows on me over the next week or so. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you again to Joe for loaning this to me. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.